Hello, it's Gareth Thomas and I've got another little Excel tip that I want to share. Something that I'm finding really, really useful and uh, it's a problem that we get a lot in business and uh, in, in um, the kind of work that many people do and that is comparing data in two different lists. So the problem here as you can see on the screen is I've got two lists, list one and list two and I've got um, 36 entries in this list of football teams um, something that everybody compares all the time I'm sure and there are 32 in this list now the probably the, the quickest way for something like this uh, being a small list would be um, simply to just highlight the two and then go into conditional formatting, highlight cells, duplicate values, and then just I'll just choose that as a default. And from that, you can see straight away that in list one, you've got Arsenal that's not in list two, Brentford not in list two, Chelsea not in list two, etc. And likewise, um, Brighton and Hove Albion not in list one, Derby not in list one, etc. So you can see the differences right off the bat. Uh, from very small lists and that's fine but when you're dealing with uh, many thousands of rows of data doing something like this can can get a bit tedious and not very uh, user friendly so I've developed a, another way that I use a lot and it's using pivot tables so if I just take that off and give myself a bit of room what I do is I call this um, I give it another helper column and call it source and I just call that you know list one and send that down when you do that it goes a bit funny so <laughs> and when I forget what I do is I just overwrite it with list one so it should say list one all the way down these vi uh, videos are unedited so if I make a mistake you'll see the mistake I make and you'll see my corrections do the same again for list 2 but this time call it list 2 only this time I'm going to do it another way and copy it that way so it's all list 2 and then join the two lists together into one big list by copying and pasting that information at the bottom so now you can see I've got uh, one long list which consists of list 1 and list 2 and all you need to do now is do insert pivot table and I like to, I'm going to show you by putting it on in the existing worksheet and I'll just choose uh, the location to the right here then I get my fields and what I do is take my um, I've, my headers list one, I should have called it just lists but it doesn't matter uh, put that in the rows and then the source across the top in the columns and then I take the list one again from the rows and I just put that in the value so you get a count and what this does and then what I do is I I always like to put the design report layout shown tabular so you can see the headers here properly then what I do is take a copy of that just off to the right, paste special values and let's make that a bit okay then what I can do is put on the filtering and what this shows me is well first off what I would then do would be sort it from uh, largest to smallest I'll get rid of the grand totals could have deleted those okay so what this shows me is everything where it's in list 1 and list 2 and the grand total is 2 then it means it's in both lists when you get down to the onesies here you can see that Arsenal's in list 1 but not in list 2 Brentford is in list 1 but not in list 2 and so on and so forth so you can actually see at a glance where 
um, the entry is and then you can also filter on them so if I just wanted to see all the the ones I'll just keep the ones in and I can see a smaller cut down version of and at a glance see what the um, relationship is if you like between the club and which list it's in, it's in or not in as the case may be so I found this really useful especially for like I say long long um, uh, data sets where I've got many thousands of rows to uh, look at and check and confirm to see if it's in list one or list two hopefully you'll find that useful too I hope you like this video if you do uh, and you're watching it on YouTube then give me a thumbs up otherwise have a great day thank you